Happy autumn, everyone. As you know, the best way to beat a fall chill is a nice, warm bowl of soup. A few weeks ago, I asked you guys to let me know on Instagram and on Facebook what kind of soups you wanted to see on the channel. And the number one response was butternut squash soup. So today I'm going to share my favorite butternut squash soup recipe. And the best part is it's actually so, so easy to put together. So for this recipe, I'm getting started by roasting my squash. And there are two reasons for this. The first, peeling a squash is a real pain. So if you're roasting it, you don't actually have to peel it until it's already cooked. And then it's a total cinch. The second and more important reason is that roasting squash actually helps it develop a really beautiful flavor. So it is totally worth doing. All I'm going to do is cut off the top and bottom of my squash and cut it in half. You'll want to use a very large and very sharp kitchen knife for this process because it can be a bit difficult to get through. Then I'm going to use an ice cream scoop to scoop out the seeds and I'm going to season it with a little olive oil and some salt and pepper. I'm going to place my squash on a baking sheet and into the oven it goes at 375 for between 45 minutes and an hour or until it's fork tender. Once it's ready, you can pull it out from the oven and then simply scoop out all the squashy goodness. I'm going to set my squash aside and get started on the rest of my soup. So I've got a Dutch oven heating up on the stove and to that I'm going to add some oil. Next, I'm going to add a handful of fresh sage leaves. Now it's gonna do two things. First, it's going to infuse our oil with a whole lot of beautiful autumn flavor. Next, the sage leaves themselves can be removed and saved for a beautiful garnish at the very end. Now that we've removed our sage leaves to our oil, we are going to add a diced yellow onion and a diced Granny Smith apple. Now I love using apple in butternut squash soup because it adds a nice sweetness that you can't get without it. I'm going to saute these until they soften up and then I'm going to add a whole lot of beautiful vegetable stock and my butternut squash. You could also use chicken stock if that's what you had on hand. I'm going to season this up well with some salt and some pepper and then I'm going to let it simmer for between 15 and 30 minutes. Once your soup is done simmering, your house is going to smell amazing. You can turn off the heat and you can either finish it off with a little bit of heavy cream, or if you wanted to keep this recipe completely vegan, you could also add some cashew milk. That would totally work here. Finally, the last step is to puree this beautiful soup. And you can do that one of two ways. The first is to use an immersion blender. The second is to use your traditional blender. You need to use extreme caution when blending hot liquids. For a full how-to tutorial on how to do that, be sure to check out this video. I've also left the instructions in the description box below. Now that it's nice and smooth and gorgeous, it's just a matter of serving it with those beautiful fried sage leaves and some toasted pumpkin seeds for good measure. I hope you'll give this delicious recipe a try, and if you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo because you know I love hearing from you. And if you've got any great soup ideas you'd like to see on the show, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there's lots more deliciousness where this came from.